Well, we hope you enjoyed some of that footage. You know, we experienced a lot of meat on the bun over there. That's right. You know, I, like I said before, that was some of my favorite stuff from, you know, that Philly cheesesteak sandwich we had at Yankee Stadium. Oh, yeah. I mean, even the hot dog, the Nathan's hot dog was delicious. Uh, we had lobster rolls in uh, Greenwich Village. Definitely. Uh, even that prime rib sandwich at Italy. Uh, and like I said, yeah. this. You know, that, that was part of my favorite, um, that's some of my favorite part of that experience was to be able to bring some of that back and, uh, and you know, that's why I And give it the house wine twist. Absolutely. Definitely. Now, I know you remember Little Italy, that festival on Mulberry Street. Now, we had a couple different uh, Italian sausage yeah. sandwiches, but my favorite was that one. I know you remember one of the crew members almost choking <laughs> on it, how spicy it was. It was so spicy. It really was. And, and I, I enjoyed that, but we're going to do a version a little less spicy than that. All right. This is an Italian fennel sausage. It's made in the same style, and this is actually made locally. Uh, Vivco brings us to us. They're out of Edinburgh, and they're the same people that bring us the Chorizo de San Manuel. Uh -huh. uh, so uh, they've been making this exclusively for us for, for some time now, and I, I couldn't be happier with it. It matches up really nicely with what awesome. we had, only not quite as spicy. Here. Well, let's get started. Yeah, we'll start with this. Now, you just it's, it's just regular water in there. It's just water. Uh, we're going to lay our sausage in there and allow that to cook. Um, you don't want to boil it completely, uh, have it completely submerged. Okay. It's about halfway up the sausage. We'll cook it for about seven or eight minutes. Flip it, cook it another seven or eight. If there's any water left, we'll dump that. Then we're going to add olive oil and sear up the skin real Ooh. nicely on the outside. Okay, okay. So it's like, it's almost same concept, like grilling it. Sure. Uh, only we're going to do it in one pan, so you, you know, less mess. Beautiful. Less cleanup. Definitely. We'll start off with some bell peppers and split them right down the middle. Take the seeds out in this bitter pith as much as possible. Yeah, you don't want none of that. What I like is a little bit of a snap to the bell pepper. Although it'll be yeah. cooked all the way through, it'll still hold, uh, hold some texture. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we'll start off with some nice that much red. Yeah. We'll put some green in there, just a contrasting color. And these are uh, these come to us from uh, Diana and Saul Padilla over at uh, Yahweh Farms. Some great local produce. Oh, absolutely. Now, what what can we use here for the bread? I know the bread. I mean, here is a regular hoagie bun or a French or Italian baguette, and those you can buy at your grocery store, or uh, or you know some local bakery shop sure, might sure. serve that as well. Uh, these are banana peppers, also from from Yahweh. And it's gonna it's not gonna add any spice, but it's it's the flavor, it's a nice yeah. flavor in there. And we'll just take some red onion. Alright, so we got all our components ready for, for this here. We just finished chopping up this garlic. Uh-huh. And one thing I'm gonna do here is add some lemon juice. Oh, man, all that smells coming together and it's just, mm, yeah. it just makes you hungry. This is going to be tangy, a nice tangy, uh, it's going to give it a nice uh, tangy dimension to, okay. to this deal. So how long should we should we cook our sausage on that first side? Uh, seven or eight minutes. Seven or eight minutes. We'll toss it over, 15 minutes tops. This is uh, white wine vinegar. Not too much of that, just, just a little bit. And what would be nice is to let this sit overnight and um, allow those, uh, those bell peppers to macerate. We'll put that aside. We'll add a little bit of olive oil in here and get our, our garlic, garlic cooked up. I'm telling you, man, all these smells are... I don't know. I don't know if I can wait. Well, you're going to have to <laughs> wait, Rico, because you can't rush perfection. Somebody once said that, and I believe it. All right. Uh, we'll flip this over. That's looking good. Nice, Look at got that. nice and plump. Yeah. Turn up the heat just a little bit. So tell me, what do you think about our new Pro Build Pro Kitchen? I tell you, it's a beautiful kitchen. Thanks for having me out. This place is great. The best part about it is all this counter space. Beautiful, man. I tell you, whenever it comes time to you know put together a nice kitchen, these guys are awesome at it. I can't wait to hire them to make one for me. Right? <laughs> How are uh, garlic looking here? Now, garlic's ready. We just want to brown that in a little bit, and then we're going to add, add our, our mixture over here before we do this. Look at that. We'll toss this around and... Beautiful. Don't get too close. 
It smells great. You don't have to. Look at that. Once everything is in, in the pan and coated with oil, we're just gonna cover it. And we want that to steam up a little bit. Like I said, we want, it, we want to keep those colors bright. We don't want to overcook it. We don't want the bell peppers to get mushy. The sausage, sausage is almost ready. ready. Awesome. So, you know, it's still got a little bit to go. Mm -hmm. Let's take a little break. Got we'll it. come back. We'll leave you off with some more of uh, you know, our great New York trip. Excellent. All right, don't go away. Savor the flavor. Awesome, guys. <laughs>